Welcome to um, our information presentation on the New England Accreditation Football Scheme. Uh, this is taken over from what was previously Charter Standard. I'm going to take you through the new pathways and um, how it's going to look um, and also um, what the new framework on the um, system and the portal is as well. Um, so the new um, England accreditation is all about pathways. So this is for male, female and disability clubs. Um, this is a change from what the old Charter Standard framework was. Uh, so this is based on the teams that you have within your club and the star rating that you will therefore achieve. So on and off pitch criteria is a foundation to providing safe, respectful and inclusive pathways and environments for the game of football in England. In addition, we recognise clubs that provide one or more of the accredited player pathways, either for male or female or for disability players. The star that a club achieves and is then recognised for demonstrates that they have football teams within their setup that support the three accredited player pathways. It helps us to align the relevant support and services you need to become the best version of your club. So how and where do your um, clubs sit? If you are an Charter Standard Club, um, you will be automatically moved over to the New England Accredited Pathway based on your club um, framework and how many teams you have. The FA have um, given you or potentially put you higher than where you currently sit in terms of the teams that you have based on where you can be with by the 23-24. Uh, the FA are providing um, this time to potentially try and grow your clubs and get those teams to um, achieve those stars. So we're going to take you through each of the pathways. So the first is a one star club. So to be a one star club, you must offer a minimum of one affiliated male, female or disability team at any age group playing within a F8 sanctioned league competition. So you can be a one team adult male or one team female or a one team disability club. So if you are um, an FA Charter Standard Club, you'll be moved potentially to um, a one star club. If you're not accredited currently, um, the one star is the minimum you can get. So depending on uh, what your framework looks like, you'll be given a one star. Star club um, offers a complete accredited player pathway for either male or female or disability, and they're playing within FA sanctioned league competition. In addition, offer a minimum of one team at any of the other pathways. So a male pathway offers at least one team um, at eight age groups and which is listed there. But they must also have um, an under 21s or open age team. And there can only be a max of two years between the age groups. Um, so that's how the male pathway looks. So if you have those teams within a male pathway, um, then you will only need to have one female or one disability team at any age to achieve your accreditation. For a female pathway, a full pathway looks um, has one team, at least four age groups for the ones that are listed below. Must have an under 10s or under 16s. And again, there's a two years age gap between those teams. And then you would require one male team or one disability team. The disability pathway. If you have a full, to have a full disability pathway, you must have one team at two age groups. So this can be the ones that are listed there. Um, a female specific disability team at any age, um, a male team or one female team to achieve um, the two star. Three star accredited club um, is the same. Uh, the pathways are the same, but you must have two complete pathways um, and one other. So you can have male and female, one disability team um, at any age, and that will be your pathway. Um, and there's still the pathways are the same for what is listed there. There are videos um, on our website um, that will um, explain it in a bit more detail um, than I've done in this presentation, um, which will be sent out with this. Um, the transition, so from FA Chart Standard to England Football Accreditation, um, as mentioned, you will be automatically moved across um, from Chart Standard to England Accreditation um, and then given a star rating based on the teams that you currently have. But 
what the FA have done is if you are um, a two a one star club in terms of the teams you have, they might have put you as a two star club based that you are close to achieving that star rating. So you might only have to get one or two teams um, growth um, within certain categories that they're looking for to achieve that two star rating. And that would be the same um, for a two star to a three star club, where if you are currently listed as a three star club, you might have to achieve two to three teams um, to achieve um, that rating. Uh, the FA have provided until the 23-24 season to achieve this. So there's an opportunity and chance to grow and develop your clubs um, and grow those teams to achieve your star rating. And based on the star rating, um, it will mean that you can achieve uh, bigger rewards. Um, this can be kit and equipment um, and support for your club, potential funding opportunities as well in the future. This is a, just a look at where we are currently as a England accreditation. So we have 83 one star clubs, 32 two star and 23 star clubs. So for a total of 135 clubs, um, as touched on um, just now, you if you are a two star, you um, potentially two teams away. And if you're a three star, you're potentially three teams away from achieving that accreditation based on the numbers and data that the FA had when they transitioned. I want to go through the eligibility criteria. Um, so this is for clubs and leagues. So it's open to both clubs and leagues. Um, the following leagues and clubs are eligible. So National League System Steps 1 to 6, Step 7 Feeder Leagues, Women's Pyramid and Grassroots Leagues and Clubs. Um, for leagues, all accredited leagues are recognised as an England accredited football league. And then all clubs are accredited as an either one or two or three star clubs. Um, all leagues and clubs must achieve the eligibility criteria to become England accredited, but we'll touch on that in a minute. So what is the criteria for leagues? So I'm just going to leave this on the screen um, for a minute, just so you can have a read through um, and see what the criteria for leagues are. If you need to pause the video to carry on reading, please do so. Um, so these are the off pitch criteria. Um, so please have a read through. And then this is the criteria for clubs. Again, please have a read through. Please pause the video if you need to. Um, and these are the off field and on field um, criteria um, that you need to achieve um, to be England accredited. So in terms of the club portal, we'll go through what the club portal looks like in a little bit. Um, so to become England accredited, so clubs that are non accredited will be able to become England football accredited and encouraged to do so. This is able to take place from now through the club portal. Uh, if you are currently and you want to renew, so list existing England football accredited clubs will renew once a season and work on satisfying gaps in their criteria 365 days of the year as the system provides a live action plan against both on pitch and off pitch criteria. And then sustaining and growing um, England football accredited clubs with FA and ourselves um, support or we'll look to the maintain the on pitch and off pitch criteria whilst being recognised for the provision you sustain or grow and the development plans you produce. Opportunity to uplift to different stars are possible at the point of renewal. So next I'm going to um, share my unshare this screen and head over to our club portal. Um, so please bear in with me while I move over to the portal. So this is the club portal, um, which is where your clubs would have um, registered your players for this season. If you go up to dashboard, um, it will say accreditation. 
this is where you will be able to get all your live action um, and information on where you currently sit as a as a club within the accreditation framework. This is a little test um, club that's been created, which I will use to illustrate it. But please have a go, have a look on your system and have a look around um, the, um, and how your club currently sits. So essentially, when you go on here, you want this orange um, square to be green and you want this everything on here to be green. So if it's orange, there is um, you need to do something. So when you come on here, if you're affiliated to the class, um, this will be green. And if you've got teams playing in a league, this will be green. Um, and then on here, if you haven't um, ticked this, we'd ask that you tick that just to make sure that we're aware you have a club bank account. Um, and then if you go on to um, this one here, uh, this tells us um, that you take minutes when you have a meeting. So the, all of these should be green. If you go on to officials, um, this will tell you if all of your coaches that are required to have DBSs are compliant. So you need to make sure that these are green. If you need to check um, which ones are not in date, you go on here and that will list the names and you can go into those individuals um, information through your club and you can then start to get that DBS compliant. So that would be all youth coaches will require DBS. And then if you have an adult side that has a youth or under 18 player registered for that team and you have a coach that is listed on that team without a DBS, this will show up. So you need to make sure that all those people have a DBS. The next one is the club welfare officer has everything that they need in place. All safeguarding committee members, um, also the key officials, um, the chair, treasurer, secretary, welfare officer have completed their safeguarding committee members course. This is available through the FA boot room and it's free on there to complete. Um, we recommend for best practice that if you have other committee members that they complete this course as well to learn about safeguarding and their responsibilities. The next one, adult teams with first aid and football education. So these will be for adult um, teams where every adult side needs to have a named FA first aider. Um, if there's someone that is out of date, you can go onto team listing and that will tell you which teams currently don't have that. Um, you can click on that, find the key official uh, coach or the first aider, and then they can go to the FA boot room and complete that course. The next one, the last one on this one is youth teams with a qualified coach. So if you have a team that's affiliated and there is a coach name that doesn't have a level one, you can click on here, it will tell you that team. You click on that team, find that coach, and try to get them booked onto a level one course um, again through the FA boot room. And like I said, all these will need to be green um, when we get to the um, cutoff date, which is in November time. The documents, um, this is where you're able to upload or um, adopt documents via the FA. Again, all these should be green. So club rules, um, the safeguarding children policies, Equality policy, FA codes of respect or conduct, um, the football leadership diversity code, which is brand new, so you can go on there and up, adopt that. A club development plan, so as part of this, um, a club is required to have a development plan. Depending on your star rating, um, this can be different and can vary. You can upload your own version and own template for your development plan, but there are some templates available as well that you can if you click on here and um, it will take you to those templates and then club accounts. Again, it's um, to show that you have accounts so we can um, see those. So if required, we can ask you to upload those and we can have a look through those um, when we get to the accreditation window. Um, again, all these should be green um, as well. And then the last one on here is the player pathways. So as we've touched on, player pathways is a really important part of this and sort of how it's based on in terms of the star rating and what teams you have. Um, so if you go onto this button here, it will bring you up the free videos to explain more depth for each of the pathways. But if you click onto this one, it will tell you which of your teams are hit the criteria. So if you have any of these teams 
that are affiliated and playing within an FA sanctioned league competition, there will be a tick in this box. And then this is the criteria here. So read through that. If this isn't green and this is orange, then that means that there is something that is outstanding within your pathway. So if you want to get a full pathway and get a complete pathway, this should be green. Again, same for the females. So again, these will be ticked if you have teams that fit the criteria. And then this is the criteria here. Um, again, if this is orange, then there will be something that's within this criteria that will need to be satisfied to get that green. Um, if you are a three star club, then you need to have two greens in here. Um, if you're a two star club, you need to have one green um, in there um, as well. And then the last one is the disability pathway. Again, it will list all those teams that have um, a team that is affiliated and playing in an FA sanctioned competition. And this is the eligibility criteria here. So whistle stop tour through the accreditation pathway and the system. Like I said, for the portal, please go onto your portal and have a play around with it. Look into the information. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me an email. Uh, my email is james.morley at suffolkcafe.com um, and I'm happy to answer any questions you have um, and we can work together. And if you need some support on how we to um, potentially grow some teams or try and go up the pathway and grow your star rating, we can work on that together as well. Um, and as well, when it comes to your development plan, if you want some support on your development plan, we're happy to do that as well. So I hope this um, quick video, which is, um, was informative to you, Again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask um, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.